Julius Nyerere International Airport is the international airport of Dar es Salaam, the largest city in Tanzania. It is located approximately 12 kilometers, 7.5 miles, southwest of the city center. The airport has flights to destinations in Africa, Asia, Europe, and the Middle East. It is named after Julius Nyerere, the nation's first president. In October 2005, Dar es Salaam International Airport, DIA, was renamed Mwalimu Julius Cambridge Nyerere International Airport, and on 1 November 2006, Julius Nyerere International Airport, a total of 9,501,265 passengers used the airport from 1980 to 2004, averaging 2,770 passengers per day. In April 2013, the Tanzania Airports Authority signed a TSH 275 billion contract with BAM International of the Netherlands for the construction of the first phase of Terminal 3, with a capacity of 3.5 million passengers per year. In November 2015, the second phase was also awarded to BAM, at a contract price of 110 million United States dollars, and will add capacity for an additional 2.5 million passengers per year. 6. After completion of Terminal 3, it is expected that Terminal 2 will be devoted solely to domestic passengers. It is proposed to build a rail shuttle link from the airport to the city and rail coaches have already been bought for this, 2014. Terminal 3 is the newest terminal that opened in August 2019. It is used for international flights. The terminal consists of two phases, Phase 1 and 2. There is a total of 58 businesses in the terminal categorized under retails, operational machines and provision of services. In June 2019, the new Terminal 3 was ready for international flights. BAM International is all set to upgrade Terminal 2 which has been in service for over 28 years and will only be used for domestic flights. The new terminal launched on August 1, 2019. Local funding was used for the expansion of the new terminal. BAM International prepared the design of the new terminal in association with the Netherlands Airport Consultants, NACO, and BAM Advies and Engineering. It formed a joint venture with BAM Nuttall for the execution of the project. The first phase of the project includes the construction of a third terminal at the airport with a capacity to handle around 3.5 million passengers a year. The new terminal will handle international traffic, with the existing Terminal 2 is being converted into a domestic terminal. The scope of work in the first phase includes the construction of the main terminal building, parking lots, access roads, platforms and a taxiway. BAM International won another contract worth 100 million euros, 110 million dollars, for the second phase of the terminal in October 2015. The second phase of the terminal construction will include increasing the capacity further to facilitate approximately 6 million annual passengers. It will increase the total area of the terminal by approximately 60,000 square meters. The airport previously underwent a number of expansions. The runway and apron at Terminal 2 were upgraded with an investment of $29.9 million in 2006. BAM International was the contractor for the renovation. The airport infrastructure upgrade was completed in 2010. It consisted of rehabilitation of all taxiways and the air ground lighting. The project was completed with an investment of $36.7 million by the contractor BAM International. CETA Aero awarded a contract to Logan Teleflex for the installation of baggage handling system at the airport in October 2010. The scope of the project included supply and installation of 16 check-in counters. It also included providing screening line with innovative Rapiskin MVXR and 628XR X-ray machines, in addition to level 2 and level 3 security baggage screening. The check-in counters were supplied by Gate Technology. The airport has two passenger terminals. Terminal 1 offers general aviation and charter services, while Terminal 2 provides international and domestic flight services. The terminals feature both international and domestic departures and arrivals lounges. The passenger facilities at the terminal include a post office, bank, bureau de change, restaurants and cafeterias. The terminal also features a VIP lounge, duty-free shop, chemist, gift shop, travel agency and a tourist help desk. 
The airport also has a cargo terminal. The airport has two asphalt paved runways. The first runway, 0523, is 3,000 meters long and 46 meters wide, while the second runway, 1430 seconds, is 1,000 meters long and 30 meters wide. The airport offers convenient public bus transport with the bus stops located near the terminal. Taxis are offered for hire from the airport. A car rental office of Avis is located at the arrivals area in the terminal. The airport offers more than 150 short-term and 50 long-term parking spaces. Construction of JNIA Terminal 3 in Tanzania nears completion. The government of Tanzania has announced that construction works on Julius Nyerere International Airport Terminal 3 in Tanzania is nearing completion. Works, Transport and Communications Minister Isaac Kamwelwe announced the reports and said that the project is 96% complete with only final touches remaining before being handed over to the government for operations. Construction was slated for completion in 2017 but extended to 2019. It started with JNIA Terminal 1 which has a capacity to handle 500,000 passengers a year. Construction of of Terminal 2 followed and boosted the handling capacity to 1.5 million passengers. Terminal 3 is projected to further increase the handling capacity to up to 6 million passengers a year. The time of project completion has extended due to various challenges including availability of quality construction materials which are bought from abroad. It takes time for the materials to arrive in the country. Time of shifting from one phase to another also affected the project, said Mr. Isaac. A total of US $283 million was budgeted to be spent on the terminal. However, the project costs increased by US $34 million as a result of changes to the to the original design, as well as changes to the extant taxation regime and employment legislation. The project is being executed by BAM International of the Netherlands as the contractor, and Arab Consulting Engineers, ACE, of Egypt as project consultant. Julius Nureri Airport, located 12 kilometers from the city center, has flights to destinations across Africa, Europe and the Middle East. It was named after Tanzania's first democratic president Julius Nureri. Julius Nureri International Airport, JNIA, is the largest and the busiest international airport in Tanzania, located in Dar es Salaam, the largest city in Tanzania. The airport is one of the 58 government-owned airports and airstrips, operated, developed and managed by Tanzania Airports Authority, TAA. JNIA is about 12 kilometers, 7.5 miles, southwest of the city. The airport was formerly known as Dar es Salaam International Airport, DIA, before it was renamed in 2006 in honor of Julius Cambridge Nureri, the first president of the United Republic of Tanzania who died in 1999. The airport saves flights to and from different destinations including Africa, Europe and the Middle East. Currently there are two terminals, Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. The government is constructing Terminal 3, TB3, which will be the largest terminal at JNIA with a capacity of handling up to 6 million passengers annually. Since the opening of Terminal 3 in August 2019 and Air Tanzania's fleet expansion with Airbus A220-300s and Boeing 787-8s, is one of the most modern aviation infrastructures in East Africa. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog.